Hey, you okay? Yeah? Okay. Um, can I get you a drink or anything? I'm just about to go to the bar. No? All right. Uh, you sure you're okay? You don't look okay, if you don't mind me saying. I mean, you look great, but you look like... Yeah, just a little freaked out. All kind of wide-eyed, shaking a bit. Are you just cold? You know, I'm not so sure about that. It's okay to say if you're not having a good time, you know. I mean, please tell me if you aren't having a good time. No, of course I wouldn't mind. I'd rather you tell me so I can maybe help you have a better time than just leave you to it. Seriously, it wouldn't put me out. <laughs> right, see, I thought so. Come on, let's go somewhere a little bit quieter so you can take a breather. No, I totally get it. It's happened to me before. You don't need to feel stupid. Mm. I think there's a little quiet room near the back by the cloakroom. This place is pretty good about stuff like that. Let's uh, go see if we can find it. Ah, uh, hold up. You should have some water too. I'll get some for you on the way past the bar. Just a glass of tap water, please, mate. I know it seems silly, but just getting more hydrated helps me a lot sometimes. If you feel mentally awful, it helps to at least take care of your physical self. Cheers, mate. Let's go. Ah, yeah, look, here we are. Nice and comfy. And nobody else is using it, so you don't need to feel self-conscious or anything. It's just us. Yeah. Sit down. Take a deep breath with me. In. Out. Have a bit of that water. It's easy to get dehydrated in there. You mind if I have a sip too? I should have got my own glass, really. But... <sighs> Thanks. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to take a load off too. Kind of nice to take a little break from it all. No, like I said, I really don't care. I'm not missing out on much. This is the same as any other night out. That is to say, it's really nothing special. I care a lot more about how you feel than getting drunk and dancing. Yeah. I don't even really care for dancing that much. More of a chore than anything. I just do it so I don't look like a spoil sport. Although... If I really get into it, then it can be kind of fun. If they play the right music. Or if it's with the right person. You want to talk about how you're feeling? Floor's yours if you want it. No, you don't have to. I can do all the talking if you prefer. Gotcha. Just relax. No pressure. We can spend as long in here as you need. I'm not itching to go back out or anything. I've been like this before, you know. It's not unusual. Everybody gets like it occasionally. Or most people, anyway. Or most people I hang out with. I don't know anybody who hasn't had at least one little freak out on a night out like this. I'm sure there exists somewhere on Earth someone who's been out every night for years and not once had a little meltdown, but I've never met them, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time for them. <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't like them much either. Can you imagine what it must be like to be completely, 100% perfectly mentally stable? I wouldn't be able to connect with them. <laughs> I'm only joking a little bit. You don't have to be neurodivergent to be friends with me, but it helps. You'd certainly be an outlier if you weren't. Being neurotypical is the divergence in my social circle, somehow. <laughs> anyway, are you feeling a little bit better being out of the noise and the crowd? Is that what set you off? 
part of it. Yeah, I know what you mean. In the moment, it can be hard to tell what's making you feel this way. Real tricky. I know for me, the noise and the movement really doesn't help. If I start off the evening feeling a little unsure about something, all the stimulation from the music and the crowd gives me no room to process it properly. Right, I need a, I need a little space to think about things sometimes. If I'm having some kind of circular anxious thoughts, being able to work through them because of external stimulus is really stressful. <laughs> no, sorry, psychoanalyzing you wasn't my intention. I'm definitely not qualified to do that. I guess I just recognize some things in you that I know about myself, so it's hard not to draw comparisons. What I'm trying to say is, I'm definitely not about to judge you for this sort of thing. It's not in my nature to, but even if it was, it would be mega hypocritical of me. Yeah, in truth, I've sort of noticed when we've been on the same night out in the bars that this happens to you occasionally, and it made me sort of sad that it seemed like, often, nobody was helping you out with it. I always wanted to, just felt like maybe I'd be overstepping some boundaries if I helped. Don't know if you felt like we were close enough. Yeah, I know, stupid. I'm glad that this time I made the decision to help you. Got over myself a bit. We might not be best friends, but you are my friend. After all, I don't think that's really up for debate. I hope it's not. <laughs> okay, good. Phew. So, I just put myself in your shoes. If I was struggling with a bit of anxiety, or whatever it is, would I think it was weird or wrong for someone I thought of as a friend, if not as best friend, to come up to me and try to help? No, I definitely wouldn't. So, I just did it, and I don't regret it. Hmm, I'm glad you agree. I mean, I wouldn't have minded if you just told me to fuck off. <laughs> I get it, sometimes you do need to just process this stuff on your own. But in this case, you know, it seemed like you needed someone. You want me to get some more water, or was that enough? No, I know. Places like this never seem to give you much when you ask for water. Guess they want to save the big glasses for drinks you've actually paid for. Sometimes I specifically ask for a pint of tap water, that seems to do the trick. Forgot to do that this time, though. That'll teach me. <laughs> Let me know when you think you're ready to go back out there, by the way. Whenever you like, though. There's really no rush. No, to be honest with you, I think I'm having a much better time in here than I was out there. They're playing some real trash tonight. And, well, it's been nice just spending time with you, one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Hey, fuck you, it's not lame. I'm trying to be wholesome. You can't make fun of me for that. <laughs> no, I, I know you're just joking. But for real, it's been nice. Even if the reason for us spending some time alone wasn't ideal. I mean, it would be nice if we could have done this without you having a panic attack first. But I'll take what I can get. <sighs> yeah. You know, I kept meaning to ask if you wanted to hang out sometime. Just us? It was bumming me out a bit that the only time we ever saw each other was on nights out like this, with everybody else around. Mm -hmm. That kind of friendship makes me feel a little sad sometimes. I guess it can be nice to have friends that are just there for fun occasionally, to have a good time, without it being this big, heavy, emotional thing. Sure, but most of the time it feels like you're just artificially limiting what the friendship can be. Like, what if I want to be better friends with someone? Why do I only have to see them in specific circumstances? These silly little things we do to ourselves instead of just living life the way we want. I'm not here for it. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop with that right there. This doesn't need to turn into a rant. I'm just glad that this time I actually took the initiative. I hope you are too. 
So, if you're feeling up to it, um, do you want to make some plans to hang out outside of a big, loud, horrible club? I mean, I'm down for anything, really. Something chill would be nice. Oh, yeah, a gallery would be sick. It's been a little bit since I did something like that. I think the last time I went to a gallery was for this Keith Haring exhibition. Years ago now. I should do that sort of thing more often. I always enjoy it. So, yes, is my answer. I'd love to. And see, I had no idea you were into that sort of thing. I'm glad I've learned now, but it's a shame I'm only just learning. <laughs> no, you're right. I suppose I shouldn't regret it. Just need to look forward. Ah, I'm excited now. I've always wanted to ask you to do something. Just us. Wasn't sure if it would ever happen. If I'd ever build up the courage, you know? Oh, sure. I mean, confident and outgoing and everything. Yeah, I guess I am. But it's still difficult to actually take a step towards someone. At least when you care about them and care about what they think of you. I think even the most outgoing person in the world wouldn't hesitate at least a little bit. Yeah. And, and you know, it wasn't just like I was approaching a friend. Because I... I don't just think about you that way. But fuck, now's not the time. You're going through something. No, I really don't. I mean, I feel stupid for even bringing it up. I shouldn't have. <sighs> Fine. I was gonna say that it was much harder to approach you specifically because I have a crush on you, okay? Big, big crush. Happy? Cool? Okay, look, let's just forget that I... Oh. You do? Well, nice. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I expected to happen. Well, I mean, I wasn't planning on telling you anyway. I was perfectly happy to just be friends. I thought the little crush would fade or something, you know. It didn't. But why not? I don't mind taking it a little further. Hey, listen, now we both know, why don't we turn our little gallery visit into a date? Yeah, I was already looking forward to it, but I think it would be even more hype knowing that it was a date date, not just a little friend date. What do you call it when you're doing a date-like thing, but with someone who you think of as a platonic friend? Surely there's a word for this. Anyway, sorry, I'm blathering now. I'm just... <laughs> Ooh, this really isn't how I thought this would go. You know, it's not why I brought you to this little back room. For real, I just wanted you to feel more comfortable. <sighs> and shit, this was meant to be a little break for you, not some silly confession. Let's put it aside for now. Are you feeling better? Do you want to go dance, maybe? <laughs> Sick. Let's get back in there. <laughs>